What's up, peeps? It's Tony B, aka Miss Ops, here again with Roxy in the background chewing her bone. We are going to add some pages to our new site. Here is the new site. Remember that? The pages you want to add are these ones here. As I said in the post, it's really easy. So I'm going to go to the dashboard. There's one page here now. So I'm going to add a new page. We'll call this about. And then publish it. I'm not going to worry about content for now. I just want to get the pages in place so I can look at the navigation and stuff like that. We can add content later. Okay, I'm going to add another new page. I can do the button here or here. Add a new page, and this one's going to be contact. Just copy that and publish it. I'm going to publish the rest and be back in a second. Okay, so here we are back again with all our pages published and we have a sample page still in there. Let's have a quick look at the site. There you go. No, we don't have a sample page there. There's nothing but sample on it. So I'm just going to move it to the trash. Simple as that. So now when I go back to the site again, the sample page has disappeared. I'm going to move some of these pages out of the way. So I'm just going to create on the top a menu that says about and contact only. These T's and C's I'm going to move somewhere else. So to do that, quite simple again, I'm going to go to appearance, menus, and we are going to create a menu, top menu, there you go and create that and to the top menu I'm going to add contact and about add those to menu just click those and add I'm going to put the about first and contact second click the location of the menu is going to be here the top primary and I'm going to save it there you go so now if I refresh my page I should just have about and contact and the others have disappeared for now until I create some way to put them. So let's create some way to put them. In menu settings you see there's two locations for the menu although we can actually put a menu somewhere else in the widget but we'll get to that at another time. So we'll just make sure that the T's and C's are in the secondary menu so I'm going to create a new menu. I'm going to call it there. There you go. I'm going to call it the secondary menu. That's what I called it. And to the secondary menu, I'm going to add T's and C's, compensation disclosure, and privacy policy. Add those to menu. There you go. Move them around as usual. And click the button that says secondary menu in the left sidebar. Save that and we'll have a quick look and there they are. Essential pages that we need we are just depopulating. We can fill them with content by typing however it's easy to do it with a plugin which we'll get to later on. But for now so I just want to bring to your attention. In our legal pages, you don't really want people to leave comments. So to get around that, if you go back to all our pages again, and if you click on quick edit, and unclick allow comments, update it, same again. And now there will be no comment box on those pages. I'm going to leave one on the about page for now. So I'll just refresh that one. Comment box will disappear. There you go. So our site has basic navigation of our legal pages. We'll add some more to the menus later in the next video. But for now, I'll talk about plugins. We haven't really discovered our plugins yet. So Back to the dashboard area, 
and down on the left hand side we're going to go to installed plugins plugins add functionality to your site in a multitude of ways now this one is already activated as the site is launched the rest have to be activated to activate it you just click activate as this one says here it allows you to exclude pages from your navigation all in one SEO pack and ask him that all in one SEO pack helps your WordPress blog to get found in the search engines and ask you met well that one helps reduce spam as well very similar to this one so I'm not gonna use it for now or activate it for now because I already have one activated but I'm gonna go to add a new plugin is what I'm gonna do and I'll be back in two seconds after I've scratched my dog and after you've clicked that button you'll arrive at the plugin screen here you can search for one of hundreds of thousands of plugins but we're going to search for just one um, privacy policy so there you go privacy policy type it in the search box and hit enter and we're looking for WP insert when it finally loads there you go it's loaded now and that's the one we're looking for so just click install now and this is how you would install any plugin and once it's installed just have to do one quick step to activate the plugin and we're off and running so we're installing it to our WordPress now click activate and it's there often when you install a new plugin there's a new setting button come up with ours we're looking for set up legal pages click on that there now we have content for these defined so privacy policy that's the content in there you can alter it or add to it as long as you save your changes it will stay the same so I'm going to assign my page now what you do you click the little arrow here it'll bring up all your published pages that's why we decided to publish our pages blank first so stop moving around with my mouse click on the policy it populates it to the left hand side you tick the button and save your changes so if I look now at my site and I click on my privacy policy page I now have a privacy policy and where it says site name it will automatically add your site name next we'll do terms and conditions that's the page I'm going to assign is there click the tick cool and dandy now on the disclaimer yours won't have this bit here it hasn't got that by default I did this before so I'll tell you what I did on my site moonfans.net I already have my Amazon legal agreements I just copied that and added it to the disclaimer above it so now when I publish it or sign it to a page should I say to that one there disclosure and ticket and save my changes you'll see what's going on so I'll click my disclosure compensation disclosure page my Amazon US agreement my Amazon EU agreement my disclaimer for the site that the plugin put in so you can just copy this one off my website if you need to I don't mind or you can draft it in your own words but this guys is very very important to have okay so if I go to my site now all my T's and C's are filled in 
on my legal pages there are just if I wanted to put in a copyright notice that usually just goes in the bottom of your theme really in the bottom of your, of your footer but I'm not going to use that for now so I'm going to start warbling because I feel myself warbling now we have our pages set up now there are two bits of content we need to write about me and we need to swipe this contact as well so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do about those two I'm going to go back to my dashboard visit my site no I don't want to do that go back to my dashboard there you go so plugins again if you go to my installed plugins you'll see we have one two three four five I'm going to add one more it's called Jetpack now Jetpack allows you to do so many things you can see it's right at the top there so I'm going to click install now okay and we're going to use Jetpack almost Jetpack almost immediately now to use Jetpack you must have a wordpress.com account if you haven't got one you can set one up as we go along in a couple of minutes it's really simple so I'm going to activate the plugin now this is where you'd have to create a wordpress.com account if you didn't have one if you do have one as in a wordpress.com account just connect to your wordpress is what you're going to be asked to do and at this stage you'll be asked to use a username email password and then sign up for an account i'm going to use one of my student names if it allows me to or files jetpack There you go, I'm in. I'm connected. I'm going to quickly show you what it has. I'm going to view all Jetpack features, and these are all the functionalities that Jetpack bring to your website. Now, I'm going to make things really easy. There you go, Jetpack settings. Now, what I want to do, I want to change almost everything all at once. So, I'm going to click this bulk actions. And I'm going to click activate. I'm not going to apply it yet. I'm going to untick a few things. And luckily, it's almost everything without a blue line next to it. I don't really want carousel images of my images. I want to place them as I want to place them. Um, infinite scroll. I don't really want infinite scroll on my websites where you scroll and scroll forever. I'm going to unclick markdown. And I'm going to unclick site verification. And I'm going to unclick tile galleries and video press. The rest of it can stay as it is. I'm going to click apply. And what I'm doing, I'm activating all these different parts of Jetpack that will allow my blog to flourish. So if I go back to my Room Fans website, you may not notice anything on the front end immediately. But I'm going to make some changes now that's going to make our life a lot easier. So on the pages again, if we go back to pages contact page if we edit our contact page what jetpack has done it has a add contact form button so i'm just going to add a contact form click it now this is the contact form that jetpack will leave for me now i'm on a lamp site i don't expect people to have their own websites so i'm going to remove that they can leave their name an email and a comment if they want to contact me Add that to the post. Now I can preview the changes there. There you go. Now I can add some contact, some content, and a picture or whatever before the form or after the form as a bit of way as a way of maybe communicating, or I could add other ways of contact, maybe a phone number. But that's the basics. So I'm gonna update that. 
and let's view our site properly again and obviously you'll know that on my contact form there's a contact form the about me page well that's for you to write about you but hey we now have our essential pages we have some plugins installed and activated and we're going to use them as we go along once you get those done we'll be back soon bye for now